only on NBC 26. It's a Netflix documentary seen by millions across the country making a murderer. The 10 part series following the murder convictions of Stephen Avery and his nephew Brendan Dassey in the death of Teresa Hallbuck. A case so impactful, NBC 26 saved hundreds of hours of court video and raw tape shot from the time Hallbuck went missing until Dassey's conviction. Now, during our four part series this week, we're going to show you some never before seen video and interviews, including some with Stephen Avery. It's a story that's creating a buzz around the world about the justice system and a case tried in our own backyard. Investigators say the 25 year old photographer was on assignment for Auto Trader magazine when she disappeared. The uh, scope of this investigation is now uh, criminal in nature and uh, we are classifying it as a homicide investigation. I remember turning around on the anchor desk and saying to my news director, do we mean the Stephen Avery? Did you have anything to do with Teresa's disappearance? No. I would never do nothing like that. You know, to harm anybody or take somebody away from their family. Hundreds of hours of footage from NBC 26. Before Stephen Avery was even a suspect, our former reporter Diana Alviar interviewed Avery since he was the last person to see Teresa Hallbuck alive. I get told, go to the Avery salvage yard and go talk to him. So we call him and he said, sure, come on out. What are your feelings for her parents? And They must be going through hell. At the time, Alviar thought he seemed cool, calm and collected. If they asked you to take a polygraph, would you? Would you not? And why? Well, I got nothing to hide. They want me to, but I don't care. It wasn't until later, looking back, Alviar realized the significance of the interview she did by the red van. I was asking one of the law enforcement personnel who was standing, and I said, what are all those little flags? And he said, well, those mark spots where Teresa's remains were found. And I... I can't tell you what went through my body when he said that because I knew where I'd been standing and it, it was, it was a, it leaves me without words. Avery spoke to our reporters next at his family cabin in Crivets. By this time, law enforcement were already searching the Avery salvage yard. I'm sure there are people out there that say, you know, gosh, this is suspicious. We think he did it. What would you say to people who are asking questions like that? I'd have to say I didn't do it. Well, if I did it, why would I stick around if I'm guilty? I won't. I'd be running. I ain't running. I got nothing to hide. Again, Avery seems unrattled. Well, I wish she'd come out and show her face so she can go home and be with her family. That's probably the main part. Officers came here to arrest Stephen Avery at his brother's home in Manitowoc County. At first, police arrest Avery for being a felon in possession of a firearm. Pieces of human bone and teeth were found on the Avery property and uh, the bone has been determined to be that of an adult female. And with new evidence, Stephen Avery's charged with the murder of Teresa Halba. Big developments today in court, your reaction to a half a million dollars bail and also being charged with the murder of Teresa From his Halba. jail cell, Avery actually calls into the NBC 26 newsroom during our evening newscast. What made you call us? I don't know. I just, I don't want to take a fall for somebody who did something to me. I don't feel like doing a life sentence for something I didn't do. Stacy's co-anchor, Bob Healy, currently runs the newsroom at NBC 26 and was on the air when the call came in. To have, you know, your news director say, we've got Stephen Avery on the line, I'm going to put him through. <laughs> you were like, okay. What would you say to the Hallbuck family? I'm sorry. It's their daughter. I don't know what else could I say. I'm sorry this happened to her or whoever. I don't know what to say. Openly answering questions about a case that was gripping the state. Stephen, uh, would you be willing to take a lie detector test to uh, try to have this uh, your statement stand up? If that's impossible, I probably would. Do you think that you're going to be able to beat this? Uh, I'm hoping. If I didn't do it, I should beat it. 
Now, tomorrow night live at TED, we focus on some of the evidence left out of the Netflix series. We speak with former reporters in the courtroom every single day in an exclusive interview with prosecutor Ken Kratz. Part two is tomorrow live at 10.